The views, information, and opinions expressed during the following program are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent the views of Access Communications, its representatives, or its employees. I'm Rena Hanowski with Access Now TV, and we are at the car show in Balgoni. Right now, we are joined by John Tobias. Thanks for joining us, John. Yeah, you're welcome. Great. So I see you have a very cool car here. Can you tell us all about it? Well, it wasn't uh, originally ours, but it, uh, it was purchased by one of my cousins, which was a lot older than I am, new. And uh, he lived on a farm at Wybank. And I was able to get it from uh, his wife after he had passed away and it was in her garage for about 20 years. Uh, it is an original condition, has never been restored. So uh, this is one thing I like about it because, you know, if there's some scratches on it, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, it's not, so it's, you wouldn't consider it mint condition, but I think oh. it's in lovely condition. Well, it does win. I've already won some awards uh, when they used to have uh, a survivor uh, class uh, class for survivors, and then it stands a chance. But you take nowadays, there are a lot of original cars. It seems they last longer now, and uh, and it was he had he never had a half ton, so he used it for everything he needed. He'd haul his cream with it and stuff. So it does have. It does have scars. And tell us about the interior. Can you give us a little rundown on it? Sure. Oh my, it's got one of those really nice long seats. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of room. Yeah. And even in the back, you can have no problem sitting uh, three beside each other. Mm -hmm. You can drive six, you know, quite comfortably. And have you always been into collecting cars? Do you have other ones? Um, yeah, for a long time. I was interested in cars ever since I was uh, going to school. Okay, and you're from Vibank? Yeah. Yeah. So we had, uh, my first car was a 34 Dodge, and uh, my dad bought it so I didn't have to drive the family car, you know, to school and stuff, and it started from there, and I've had, I've had a, a, lot, of, a lot of nice cars. Nice, and so do you come to a lot of car shows, John? Uh, I did in my lifetime. I went to lots, but uh, I I like to go to the ones that are nearby. Yeah. What's your favorite part about coming to these shows? Well, to meet the people, you know, uh, and then you see cars that you've never seen before. So it's a uh, it's a companionship, something to do. Great. Well, thank you, John, so much for coming out and telling us all about your cool car. We're now joined by Lindsay Waite. Thanks for joining us to talk about your very cool car. Tell us all about it. Okay, it's a 1974 Plymouth Barracuda. Um, I purchased it in 1985 and uh, drove it for a few years. Uh, then, of course, you know, life and kids come along and uh, we quit driving it. And then I uh, spent the next years restoring it and got a little more serious the last 10 years or so. It's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, last summer was the first year we had it finished and drivable. Okay, so you had it in storage for a while. Did you do a new paint job or what's new on it? Yeah, uh, pretty much everything is, is new. Uh, I, I, I tore apart right to the last nut and bolt and uh, replaced some of the, the fenders and, and uh, the me sheet metal. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I had uh, my brother painted it for me. Oh my gosh, what color is that? Electric blue. Electric blue, it's so cool. And the spoiler, is that new? Uh, yeah, yeah, it didn't have that on when I originally bought it. Okay, tell me about the tires. Um, well, they're just, uh, they're just a, a custom rim. Uh, they're not a factory, factory rim. Yeah. And then the interior, can you talk about the interior? Yeah, the interior is, uh, is originally how it would have been. Uh, my wife and I recovered the seats mm -hmm. and uh, new carpet. 
the the roof liners all been redone so mm -hmm. yeah my wife helped me out with that wow and the engine let's talk about the cool oh my gosh it's gorgeous <laughs> i know nothing about engines so fill me in <laughs> uh it's a 440 cubic inch uh chrysler engine uh it's not the original engine so i uh i had it rebuilt and and got it in here mm -hmm. these cars never came this year didn't come with that engine the but uh it fits in so so how do you get an engine that fits this particular car can you tell me about that process yeah the earlier the earlier years of these cars did come with that engine mm -hmm. so everything does bolt in just in 74 it wasn't an option oh okay yeah. all right and then so you you take the old stuff out and you put the new stuff in yeah yeah that's basically <laughs> it yeah and uh you know some of it's trial and error getting getting it to fit but uh in the end yeah it uh, it fit in fairly well obviously this is um something that you love to do because the car is absolutely gorgeous condition is this a hobby of yours or something that you like to do in your pastime yeah yeah it's a it's a hobby of mine and uh i just i grew up you know grew up with cars and uh you know all my my older cousins had fancy cars like this and stuff too so awesome where are you from Lindsay? uh right here in balgoni oh nice yeah. so do you come to a lot of car shows then um I, like I say, I just got this going last year, so I haven't had it to a bunch, but yeah. we're, we're trying to get it out to a few more. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it again somewhere. Yeah. Well, we, we go in and drive up and down Regina, okay. you know, going for ice cream with it. So. Okay. <laughs> well, that's so nice. Well, thanks so much for telling us all about it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. We're here now with Craig, and Craig, you have quite an interesting vehicle. Can you tell us all about it? Yeah, so this is a... Uh, we compete in... Uh, tractor pulls uh, prairie pulling league it's called this is a modified mini they call it a modified mini I've never heard of that so yeah I don't know if you ever seen tractor pulls or not but no. so we pull a, a, a weight sled mm -hmm. and the further you pull it the heavier it gets right yeah. and yeah so there's various classes this is a uh, a beginner beginner stage I guess mm -hmm. uh, it goes all the way up to to fully modified you know big tractors and, and trucks four-wheel drive trucks and two-wheel drive trucks so, yeah. oh wow okay so you have um, an original piece and then you just add to it yeah it's all it's all home built really mm -hmm. uh, various components we got uh, you know a small block Chevy engine there's Ford rear end in it it's it's basically uh, you can do whatever you want really there's a, a limit on weight mm -hmm. and a few rules on the engine and yeah wow it's... and so it can pull quite a load i see the tires are huge is there a standard tire you have to put on no there's uh well there's a, a maximum size these are these are a little smaller okay. a lot of guys have have a little bit bigger tires but, okay uh, Wow, and how fast can it go? <laughs> well, <laughs> pulling nothing, it, it'll go 100 miles an hour, but in competition, 20 miles an hour is about as fast as, as it gets moving. Okay. The wheels go a lot faster. They're spinning in dirt. So, oh, okay, uh, okay. So you need quite a grip on there then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. It's a clay, you know, a clay sand track. Okay. You pull on, it's 300, 300 feet long. Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah. do you do quite a few competitions? Have you been doing this for a long time? No, we just started. Uh, my son drives it. I, I help him out. So this is our, really our first year in competition. So oh, okay. we, uh, we started building it. You could call it a COVID project, I yeah. guess, right? <laughs> when there was two years of nothing, that's what we spent our time on. Yeah, yeah you developed a new hobby then. Yeah, right. Yeah. Expensive so have... hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to do with vehicles is so expensive. But wow, so it's a labor of love then. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And where are you from? Right here in Balgoni. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so many locals. It's so nice to see. Great. Well, thank you telling, for telling us all about your very cool car and good luck in the next tractor pull. And now we're here with Randy. Thanks for talking with us, Randy. You got a super cool car here. Tell us all about it. That's a 69 Caprice Coupe, two door. It's got a 396. It's a um, very, very nice car to rot and ride. And uh, it's just a great car. I have had it for about five years and got it down east and brought it home. And I've just had great, great, great travels with it. It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> Our yeah, Caprice is always that big. The good, yeah, yeah. The Caprices were the full full size Chevs oh, and those years. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. 
And this was the top of the line in that in the 69. Oh, wow. Yeah. Have you always wanted this type of car? Have yeah. you been looking long? Yep. Well, this is what I wanted. Actually, this type of car was the car I took my driver's license on. Oh, my oh, goodness. It's kind of nostalgic for me to get it. Wow. Yeah. Just a couple of years ago. Well, a couple of years ago, yeah. Yeah, it was a couple. Yeah. It was it's great. beautiful. Wow. Yeah. So you got your old car back. Yeah. Well, not mine, but it's one like it. <laughs> and where are you from? I'm from Moose Jaw. Moose Jaw. You yeah. came all the way here for the car show? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Do you yeah, participate in a lot of them? I, the ones I can make. I'm, when I'm available, I come. Yeah, I like to come and see yeah. all the cars. And yeah. Really Do you have nice. other old cars? No, nope, just this one. Oh, yep. wow. Okay. That's all we have. Yeah. So what have you restored on it? What's new? What's old? I did the tires and rims. I've um, not that much. It came this way. Uh, oh. There's not really much I had to do. I put the air conditioning back together in it and did the tailpipes and uh, just odds and ends. But the powertrain and everything is still original. Wow. And the interior is the original, and uh, that's that's about it. Uh, I haven't had to do just drive it. Just drive it. And yeah, how does it drive? Really good. Yeah. yeah really nice. It's a big comfortable ride. It is, yeah. It's smooth. It just floats. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And lots of power. Lots yeah. of power. Yeah. Oh really? That uh, big block 396 it goes, yeah. And it has the hideaway headlights. What is that? That is oh. covers the headlights fold away. Oh, show yeah. me. Oh. If you don't mind. Yeah, they're opening up right now, I believe. The vacuum has to build up. What, what has to build up? Vacuum tank in there, and it has to build up vacuum for them to work. Oh, okay, okay. They should go up and down. Yes, yeah, they did. They well, that's a very unique. Kind of a, yeah, they're unique. Yeah. Do all the Caprices have that feature? Yeah. Well, the Caprices do, yeah. The yeah. Caprices were the model that come out with the hideaway headlights. Oh, okay. They're called retractable. Retractable. Yeah. That's it very power cool. power windows and everything in it. It's got power windows. Power windows, yeah. Oh, it's one of those high-tech cars. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> well, great. Well, yeah. thank you so much okay. for telling us all about your cool car. All right. Well, thank you. We're here now with Dale to talk about his car. Can you tell us all about it? It's a 1973 Rally Sport Camaro. It's, uh, it's a big block four-speed uh, car was an originally out of Port Angeles, Washington, which is just south of Victoria. Okay. And did you go out and get it? Yes, ma'am. It took me two days to go get it and bring it back. The car came with no engine. We had an engine at home. We dropped it in. What made you go so far to get it? You just can't find these cars in in Canada anymore. They're just they're just not enough anymore. Of course, U.S. You know, 300 million people. There's a lot more selection there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay. yeah. So what have you restored on it? We put the motor in it. Uh, we sanded it all down. We painted it a nice Peterbilt purple, and that was just done on June or January 18th. Oh. This is actually probably the second or third run we've taken with this car. Okay. So yeah. we just kind of got it put back together. Do you go in a lot of car shows? Uh, quite a few. Yeah. Quite a few. Do you have more than this car then? Uh, yeah, I got a whole collection. You do? What else you got? <laughs> I got, uh, I got the Camaro. I've got an S10 that's in in the works. I got three stepside Chevys, trucks, and a 73 Nova that's under construction. Oh, my gosh. So we, uh, we're busy. So you have quite a collection then. Yeah. Have you always been into this, uh, repairing cars and restoring them? Totally, yeah. Yeah? I had one of these when I was 20 years old, and then I got married, and then... Of course, the toys are the first thing to go, right? <laughs> yeah. So, and then I found this one, and now I'm reliving my youth. Wow. Have you, so you've been looking for it for a while then? Oh, for sure. Like yeah. 20 years. Oh, wow. And they're hard, very hard to come by. Can you tell me about the interior? It's just a plain bucket seat car. Mm -hmm. uh, we put the, the shifter uh, console in it because it didn't have it. Of course, then we put the gauges and seats and all that stuff in it. Yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been enjoyable, wow. and you know, if you got the time, they're fun to do. But time is a killer. You you just got to have the time, because lots of these guys they'll they'll start on it, and then they'll run out of time or run out of money, and then the thing sits and sits and sits. So, yeah. it's it's a commitment for sure. 
Yeah, and it's yeah, time and money, right? Exactly. Yeah. Lots of money. Yeah, and we were just talking to someone. It was their COVID project. They weren't into exactly. it before, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then you have the time because we couldn't do nothing, right? Yeah. So. So it's a great thing to do, especially if you have the skill for it, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's a lengthy process for sure. Wow. So what else can you tell me about this cool car? Uh, we put the wheels and tires on it. Mm -hmm. They're a little bigger, a little lightweight. You know, we try to keep it light so we can go as fast as we can go. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, that's probably about it. Mm -hmm. With the wheels, are they standard wheels or do you have to get certain fittings no, no, no. for them? They're, they're special ordered ones. They're, they're probably half the weight of a normal steel wheel, right? Okay. So it reduces your unsprung weight and mm -hmm. I don't know, it's all fun and games, <laughs> right? Does it go really fast? It goes fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for telling us about it. You're welcome. And now we're here with Ken. Ken, can you tell us a little bit about your yellow car? Yeah, well, it's a 2001 Viper, uh, six-speed standard, 450 horse. It's got a uh, V10 engine in it and uh, two-seater. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had it for? Oh, six or seven years. I bought it used. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got about 56,000 miles on it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Where'd you get it from? Uh, at an auction sale. Nice. I went, you... I went to buy a tractor and ended, and ended up buying a car. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about the interior? Not much to tell, really. It's just leather, leather seats. and. Ooh, it's nice. Yeah. Six-speed standard, I guess I said that before. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And the top there? Well, that's a convertible top. I just laid it on her because it was raining. Uh, and then it also has a hard top, uh, like a yellow hard top, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are those hard to replace? Uh, the hard top is easy to put on. The convertible top isn't easy, no. Oh, and I would think it was the other way around. <laughs> no, uh, this, this rolls up in a bag and it's in the trunk and it's hard to get out of the trunk because it uh, just barely fits in there. Oh, crossways, okay. Yeah. Are we allowed to look under the hood? Oh, wow, look at that. I didn't expect it to open like that. Yeah, it, it's a little different than a normal vehicle, yes. Yeah. Do all Vipers, they all open up like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so tell me about Vipers. Uh, I know nothing about them. Well, they're, they're a sports car. They started in about, they started building them, I think in about 94 maybe, or something like that. They were pretty crude. They uh, didn't even have roll-up windows when the first ones came out. Okay. They quit building them maybe three years ago. Oh, okay. And I think they were up to over 700 horse when they quit building them. Really? Yeah. So they're super fast. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are they loud? Uh, not really. No, not too bad. Okay. How fast have you gone? <laughs> oh, uh, maybe 120 mile an hour. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> well, it's a lovely car. So do you collect a whole bunch of cars? I know you're yeah, supposed actually, to... Yeah, I do. I got quite a few. I got nine cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so I got five convertibles and uh, four other ones. Yeah. yeah. Is that your favorite type of car to collect is convertibles? Uh, one of them. Yeah. 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 I Anything that kind of catches my eye yeah, yeah what do you like about these cars do you like the fast ones or what oh, catches yeah, your eye high horsepower ones this one is really good on gas uh, like uh, you drive the speed limit you can probably get uh, uh, sometimes 40 or close to 40 yeah okay yeah wow. miles to the gallon like, yeah not yeah. not liters per 100 kilometers that doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> <laughs> and so do you restore them as well your other car no i don't restore any no no i don't have time for that and i i'm not uh you got to know what you're doing to restore yeah. it yeah so you just collect them i just collect them you collect and, right. them. and yeah. drive them and yeah. drive them yeah i don't i drive everything that i own yeah oh nice oh yeah do you come to a lot of these shows oh yeah usually every weekend in, oh, really? in the summertime yeah nice yeah. Well, it was so nice talking yeah. with you about this. I learned a lot. Thanks okay. so much. Yeah, all right. Thank you. We're here now with Ver and Jess. I see you're shining it up. It's starting to rain a little bit, but it's still looking nice and shiny. <laughs> Can you tell us all about it? Uh, it's a 1970 Charger uh, 440, uh, four-speed with the pistol grip. Um, the car is pretty original, except for the two outside fenders. They're NOS fenders, which are the new old stock. Uh, the rest of the car is basically the way it was sold. It was sold here at Crestview Chrysler in 1970 and I'm the furthest owner at White City. Uh, it went to a, the mechanic at the store for two years and then 28 years it lived in uh, Pilot Butte uh, and then it went back to Regina for 10 and I bought it here about a year ago. Wow 
Wow. So it's traveled around. <laughs> yeah, traveled around, but not very far. <laughs> no, not very far. How many miles does it have on it? About 70,000 miles. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah. Nice. But what's unique, if you want to look yes, at the please. sticker here, yeah. um, it's an RT, of course, and then uh, it had, used to have a white stripe that like, went around the door that never got replaced because I didn't really like it that much. But um, the other thing that is this, we had a repo done of the sticker. Okay. And if you look closely at the sticker here, USA spelt upside down. And apparently that's how it was back in 1970. So, what? Yeah, if you see the USA is upside down. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if it was a misprint or what, but uh, yeah, the rest of the car is uh, pretty well as it was sold. Wow. Same color, um, sold here, and that's kind of the reason why I bought it. It's, it's so beautiful. Yeah, and, and what's, you know, what's really unique too, um, the interior is the same color as the car. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and that's that pistol grip. It looks like a handle of a, of a gun. It's called the pistol or on the on the shifter there. We could maybe go on the other side and we'll see a better mm -hmm. view of it. But uh, that was uh, unique to the Chrys Chryslers. And of course, uh, the four-speed, um, uh, the big big block 440. So rest of the car is, and it it runs really, really nice. Wow. It was, uh, the guys that did it put a lot of care into it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know, as you can see, the engine bay they cleaned it all up. It's uh, it's pretty clean. That it drives and runs just like the day I that they bought it, I guess. So. Yeah. So do you do a lot of collecting or restoring? Yeah, I've got this is about, about the eighth car I've had. Um, I've got another one in my garage that I haven't let out yet. It's a, a 1970 Chevelle SS, um, but I got a little bit of work to do on it before I drive it. But this this I've been driving all summer now. So. Wow. What yeah. do you love most about this car? The size, as you can tell, I'm a bigger guy. Uh, the size, I wanted the bigger block. And what I really love the most is uh, most of the other cars I've had, they always run hot in the summer. This one seems to stay cool, runs nice and cool, and it idles and it runs really good, shifts nice. And it's just, uh, you think about how many of these are out there uh, and how many are left, yeah. you know, and this is one of them. So. And in this condition too, right? Yeah, I mean, it's the, the people that built this, uh, I, the guy when he sold it to me, um, he, he actually was in tears. Uh, he said, and I said, you know, if I ever sell it, I'll give him first right of refusal. But uh, yeah, it's it's nice. Uh, so he babied it. He babied it. He built it, but he wanted another project, and so he just moved on. It's like everything in life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So do you have a, quite a few cars? Yeah. Well, I got two now left. I used to have four. I got had two Mustangs, and actually one's in um, um, outside of Moose Jaw. It's a guy's got a collector collection. He's got I don't know. It's got to be over a hundred. It's in that collection now. It had a. Uh, it was a 289 Ford Mustang, a 1966 with 25,000 original miles that I had documented. It was sold here in Regina at that collector sale about uh, in May. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I sold that, and then I decided I wanted the big block, so the yeah. bigger engine. So I've got two now left, this and that uh, Chevelle. But I'm looking for a big block Ford Mustang now. <laughs> yeah. 69 or 70, I want. Yeah, but yeah. they're they're hard to find. Yeah, you find something that's done because to get. In this position, uh, you know, in this condition, uh, the the restoring is very, very costly and ha and hard to get parts now. Yeah. You know, how where do you, do you get parts? Yeah. Yeah, lots come from the states. We have to okay. order from the states, and in our group, there's a Ford Mercury Club. We uh, uh, guys will go down and cross line and pick up stuff constantly. But yeah, okay. but you got to know what you're doing. But I don't. I'm a I'm an accountant, so I just buy them <laughs> like this. <laughs> but you're part of a group. Yeah, Saskatchewan Ford Mercury Club and uh, raise mo money for juvenile diabetes. Uh, and we like there's ten of ten cars out here today, and uh, yeah, we stick together. One of the guys is a mechanic, and he did all my restoring on the cars and keeps it up, and yeah. it's really fun. Is it a group that travels around and does car shows? Yeah, we do quite a bit. Uh, we, last week was Watrous and whatnot, and uh, we were down at Weyburn here a month ago and uh, here, and we just kind of. Wherever where it is, we'll just go. It's a good day to get away, and today's a beautiful day. Yeah. I mean, it's nice and cool at least. So it is, yeah. And they said rain, but I see blue sky, so they were wrong again. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but it's nice temperature. It's, it's perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what do you love most about traveling around, going to these car shows? The people, um, meeting people, and I, actually some of the stories. A lot of people will tell you stories. Well, you know, uh, I, I I had a car like that, you know, and and, and it just. It's nice. I'm 61, and so uh, this would have been, I would have been nine years old at this time, but so I wouldn't quite know. But uh, you get lots of stories and memories and people, you know, just looking at the stuff. Hey? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's so nice. Are you from here? I'm from White City. Okay. Uh, yeah, so nice. it's close. I come here a lot for 
uh, meeting with people at dinners and whatnot. But it's it's just nice. It's close. Mm -hmm. Why not do it, right? Yeah. Right. Well, I'm glad you came out today, and yeah. thanks for sharing all this information about this. You're very welcome. Thank you. We're here now with Michael Kyle, and I see you have a very unique car. Can you tell us about it? It's a 1963 Galaxy Tudor hardtop. Okay. And where'd you get it from? came out of Saskatoon. It's a U.S. car that had been up there for many years. It was three quarters finished and I was fortunate enough to pick it up and uh, put the interior back in it and did a little bit of mechanical work and she's back on the road. Wow. So what's new on it? Well, what's unique about it is it's got a motor in it that was built for one year only. It's a 406 cubic inch FE motor. Uh, the precursor was the 390 and this motor was the basis of the, the famed Ford 427. It's basically the same motor. Uh, they ran this for a year and then they boarded out another 200,000 to give a 427, which was the big Ford engine. And this motor is a solid lifter cam, uh, factory cast iron uh, exhaust headers. Um, it came with a three tri-power setup, three Holley carburetors on a special intake. And I switched it last week because it was leaking so bad I didn't want the car to burn down. So I'm going to get those overhauled. In the meantime, I put another intake on it with just a single four barrel. And it's a, just a good old cruiser. Wow. Yeah. So why do they make them only for a year? Uh, they upgraded the motor for more power. They're running these engines in NASCAR. Uh, this motor would have competed against the Chevy 409. And then they, for the quest for more power, they improved it for more cubic inches for more power. This is a factory four-speed car. Okay. which you don't see too often. So there's a four in the floor, and uh, I put the mags and wheels on it, and away she goes. Wow. This is called a box top, hard top. So it's a formal roof hard top, and halfway through, through 63, when they quit building that engine, they put 427s in these cars, and then they had a sloping um, fastback roof, which is very desirable by uh, collectors. You won't see many box top hard tops, most of the ones that are restored are all fastbacks. So this is a little unique. You don't see many of them around. Yeah. So I like my old Fords. No kidding. So do you collect a few of them? I've got another one. I've got a 69 Fairlane with a 428 four-speed in, a big muscle car too. And and this one's more my uh, going to car shows. My bug buster, so to speak. The other <laughs> one's more of a trailer queen. Which one's your favorite? Oh, the 69 Corby Jet. Yeah. yeah, why? Just because. <laughs> Just because? Just because, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Have you always been into cars? Yeah, my whole life, and I'm a Ford nut, so. Are you? Yeah. Ah, what got you started? Yeah, my dad, when I was a kid, I guess. Uh, hung out in the grads, come home from school, and go right in there and get dirty, and just the way it was. And I, uh, I'm i with the Sasquatch Mercury Club. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Actually, the president this year. We've got about 85, 90 members, and... It's just fun to come out here and hang out with your buddies and show off your old cars and go cruising. It's what we like to do. Yeah, so I heard you guys go traveling quite a bit then. Yeah, there's an international Mustang show this year in Saskatoon. I'm going to go to that. And I was in Watrous last weekend and, and so on. So there's shows in Regina and out of town as well. And we have guys that travel. We've been to Mooshaw this summer and different places like that. And so it's just a nice way to get out and enjoy the day. Yeah, what's your favorite part about coming to these shows? Just hanging out with old friends. Yeah. 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 Everyone's hanging out. They're having fun. The sun is out, which is nice because we thought it was going to rain. What do you do when it rains? <laughs> Curse. <laughs> Wipe the okay. car down again, you know. <laughs> you it's come all, with a lot of towels it's then. It's all water spotted and smeared from the rain this afternoon. I have to go and wash it. I washed it this morning before I brought it out. Now it's dirty again. Uh, I think it looks beautiful. Uh, it's okay. It's a little <laughs> beat up like I am, but it still moves. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.